friends, trust that you are enjoying um, learning about standing firm in the Lord. And we've been talking about the fact that you know, there are certain values, principles, attitudes that will help us uh, stay firm in difficult seasons. And today I want to talk about purity. Purity is the core of the nature of God. You know, um, uh, in, in scripture, we see God describing himself as a holy God. In 1 Peter 1 verse 16, Apostle Peter talks to the believers and he calls them to holiness. He says, because it is written, be holy for I am holy. Now, when you see what um, Peter is inviting the, the people of God to do, it is to have a life which is different from uh, the, the life of the world. So Peter is, is uh, emphasizing the fact that a believer, yes, by faith we are believers uh, because of the work of um, salvation that Jesus did on the cross. We are now believers by faith. But he is challenging the believers to also have a walk of purity. And he asks the believers to have a life which is distinct from those who do not follow Christ. And, you know, he goes on to, um, uh, encourage them about their inheritance in Christ and you know, to have an eternal perspective and all of those things because so much has changed for the believer in the spiritual realm and uh, because of that the behavior, the lifestyle, the attitude of a believer must also be rooted in the character of God. So you know, he's calling for a holy lifestyle and he says you know, it is written, this is what God said be holy for I am holy. God does not call us to do anything that he himself is not. Or God does not call us to do anything that he cannot empower us to be. So when we read the scripture, we understand that God himself is holy and which is why we should be holy. And God has made us holy. We have been sanctified in Christ Jesus. Um, uh, and, and that is a positional truth but we can also live out a life of holiness it is possible it is possible because of who we have become in Christ Jesus and also because of the work that the word of God does in our hearts progressively and the work that the Holy Spirit does in us progressively and so every believer can live a holy life and God is calling us to a holy life 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 16, you know, talking about the body of believers. You know, we read this, it says, Know ye not that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you. Again, we are being called to holiness uh, as individuals. If you want to um, uh, talk about the human body to keep that holy, but also the body of believers to walk in holiness. And holiness, purity, it anchors us in God. And when we go through, you know, uh, difficulties, when we go through uh, challenges, uh, and especially when we go through uh, accusations and opposition, there is something about purity that keeps us protected, that brings us out as gold. Even when we consider the life of the Lord Jesus, uh, in Hebrews 4.15, we are told that he faced all kinds of temptations and yet he was never tainted by sin. So he pursued a life of holiness and purity. Let us do the same and that will keep us anchored in God and that will keep us victorious. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we um, thank you that you have called us to be holy the way you are holy. Father, I pray that we will be empowered by your word, by your spirit, O oh God, that Lord, we will be uh, those um, believers with a renewed mind, Lord, representing Jesus well in every way. We thank you. We thank you for, for leading us into this. Lord, we thank you um, uh, for leading us into maturity. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.